the common one, basic one, is nowadays people have sort of got their head around the fact that if you've got any lake and there's too many fish in it, then the fishing will deteriorate. And it can happen quite quickly, and it normally happens in the warmer months. So in the winter, if they've had a problem in the summer, they'll get us in normally to net. Netting's really effective to take out vast bits of water. Um, we do electrofishing quite a bit as well, but it's labour intensive, and there's lots of times I wouldn't use it. But just as much as that, we, we're not really fish dealers, so we try and sort of help people improve the lakes rather than just go and take fish away. I don't really get involved in that. But the, the, I suppose the main reason really is when fishing is on the downward slope and it was good, there's always, I always believe there's answers and I don't think the answer is restocking most of the time. I think you need to identify the actual core problem of your fishery. And quite often it is there's too many fish, but at the same time, it might be that you've just kept mixing up loads of different places, source waters, all this, that and the other, and then that something's going wrong. Or um, environmental factors like the water quality can be really bad. And most of this stuff, no one, you know, the winter, even though it's now February and it's 12 degrees, 13 degrees, we haven't had too many cold winters of late. And that's causing a few people problems. There's a couple of angling clubs in the last couple of weeks that have had bad algal blooms um, and there's diatoms in the algae which can really affect the, the, the respiratory system of any species um, even now in February. Now years ago when I was growing up doing this it used to be really cold in the winter and quite nice in the summer so there's, there's so many different facets of the job but ultimately you use the colder months because it's easier to catch the fish, it's less stressful on the fish, you, I wouldn't do it in the summer unless it was a complete fish rescue and you'd have a choice but most of the time you're problem solving so we like to go in do as much as we can catch samples of fish and say to people look this is what we've caught this is what we think is happening this is how i would improve it and a lot of the time especially with your more sort of modern sort of day ticket carp fisheries or commercial match fisheries you're trying your best and pleading with them not to keep it restocking because half the time it doesn't achieve what they think it will uh, i suppose the main reason is um is just problem solve really quite often people have issues with water quality and stock man management anything like that really so by running nets through the water or having a survey um, you can identify these problems pretty quickly you know you don't need to catch all the fish you won't catch all the fish uh, but by catching samples of fish uh, you can look at what's going on and identify issues many different things um, water quality etc um, a lot of people they use our services to crop fish so annual croppings of small fish mainly on carp waters and vice versa in commercial batch fisheries quite often the, the fish breed so you end up with tons and tons of little fish and then we help them crop them we don't buy them we we, we try and in, integrate them into other waters and, and sort of move them if we have to but we you know it's a bit of a hassle really so all the bit all the nets as you've seen they come in the big blue bins just like um the sea nets really they're the same sort of things they're very robust and they're bomb proof bins and what we do is because we're out uh, we're out every four four days a week at least and then we just sort of do local jobs but those nets are disinfected every day so when we leave site they're all fed back into the bins and cleaned of all sticks and bits and pieces and then we flush them through with either vercon s which is I, I which is what i've always used or bio vx they're the only two chemicals that really um, are up to standard at the moment there's probably new things come out but I always stick to what I know in that in that respect so every single net is, is methodical they have to go back in we, we can't transfer obviously any fish scales fish any detritus really so you want to clean the nets off get them back in the bid every single time it's all right if you're working at a fishery for a whole week and all the they're all classed as the same water body it's not the end of the world and obviously if you're in France doing multiple waters but you travel between lakes everything's got to be cleaned and disinfected and it's really really important we take we don't take it for granted because we're we're trusted with so many venues and we're trusted and like i say a lot of my clients i've worked for for over 20 years and there's a reason for that you know we don't take these things for granted and we and we we should be held accountable as anglers and as fishery managers really